the largest city in the state of Washington is Seattle. People from all over the world reside in this lovely city, known globally for having several ethnically varied neighborhoods. Seattle offers a wide variety of activities and attractions, whether you spend most of your time indoors or outside. Pioneer Square is Seattle's oldest neighborhood. It is here that construction began in 1899, following a massive fire that devastated much of the settlement. The Seattle Art Museum, with halls full of light that entice you to walk among the various art collections and several temporary and permanent exhibitions. Modern and contemporary arts, African, Mesoamerican, Mediterranean, European, and many more are among the collections. When it was first built in 1914, the 42-story Smith Tower was hailed as the world's tallest office building outside New York City, and it remained the tallest structure west of Chicago for nearly half a century. You should not miss the Beneath the Streets Tour, dedicated to authentic and unique guided explorations through old underground passages beneath Pioneer Square. Throughout the tour, you would be told many anecdotes and rumors that only a few people in Seattle know. The Olympic Hotel was the place to be seen when it opened in 1924. It was a magnificent setting for parties, marriages, and debutant balls for almost half a century before losing its luster. The hotel was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1979. Benaroya Hall, which occupies an entire city block and houses the Seattle Symphony, features two concert halls, including the 2,500-seat Tapper Foundation Auditorium, which is renowned for its exceptional acoustics. The bustling waterfront is the heart of Seattle's energetic maritime community, with all the sights, shorebird sounds, and saline air that a coastal metropolis has to offer. Pike Place Market, a hundred-year-old market that attracts more than 10 million visitors annually, is well known for its fishmongers, produce stalls, craft stalls and food stores. But there is much more to the market than meets the eye, such as a giant wall full of gum, which many have heard of and is already quite famous. If you like coffee, you've probably heard of Starbucks, because the first store in the chain's history is near the market's entrance. It opened its doors in 1971, and while it is no longer in the same store inside the market, it is still active. The Seattle Aquarium, one of the best aquariums in the country, provides a fascinating glimpse into the Pacific Northwest marine life, featuring over 400 distinct species of fish, plants, and animals native to the region. Sea otters and seals play in pools, while feeding time is quite interesting. Waterfront Park encompasses the region between Piers 57 and 59. The park has spectacular views of the Seattle cityscape and harbor. The Seattle Great Wheel, with about 88 tons and more than 160 feet, is another attraction worth the visit in Seattle. You will find it on Pier 57 close to the Pike Place Market. It has 42 gondolas with air conditioning and heating that can seat up to eight people. The Seattle Center, located north of downtown, is a proud relic of the city's 1962 World's Fair. Visitors will discover upmarket boutiques, antique shops, stylish restaurants, and fashionable crowd among the pricey residences. The very famous Space Needle in the heart of Seattle is undoubtedly the city's most well-known landmark and symbol. It was completed after 400 days of construction in 1962. 
the Olympic Sculpture Park, which opened to the public in January 2007 as part of the Seattle Art Museum, is located on a former industrial site that has been transformed into a unique green place for public enjoyment and outdoor art. Whether it's the greatest guitarists of all time or the most famous film moments, the Museum of Pop Culture will make you feel like you're living them right now. It welcomes you to know everything about pop culture in depth through various exhibitions. The Chihuly Gardens are named after Dale Chihuly, an American artist whose primary medium of expression is glass. All his sculptures and the way he combines it with the environment is incredible. Bainbridge Island is accessible by ferry from Seattle and is renowned for its nature. The island is considered a historical and cultural heritage and it boasts stunning vistas from all sides of the island. For those who prefer being outside, there are numerous beaches, gardens and paths to explore. Seward Park is located within the city boundaries of Seattle and offers 300 acres of pristine wilderness eagle nests, forests, a 2.4-mile bike route, and walking trails. Also an amphitheater, various gardens, an art studio, beaches, and much more. Discovery Park, Seattle's crown gem, aims to create an open space of quiet and tranquility away from the stress and activity of the city. It is Seattle's largest park, with over 530 acres of forest, farmland, bats, and even beaches. You won't believe the park is only a few minutes drive from downtown Seattle. Green Lake Park, located north of downtown, is a recreational park with over 200 acres of many activities to enjoy and connect with nature. It is well known, particularly among anglers, because it is home to more than eight different types of fish. Woodland Park Zoo, purchased by the City of Seattle in 1899, is one of the West Coast's oldest zoos and a prominent attraction. Most of the 300 animal species live in conditions like their native habitats. The University of Washington is the top institution of higher learning in the Northwest United States. The lovely park-like campus located on the grounds of the 1909 World's Fair is home to almost 43,000 students and 500 buildings in various architectural styles. Seattle is recognized for its fresh and excellent meals. Seattle is located on the Puget Sound, which links to the Pacific Ocean, thus it has an abundance of seafood. The Northwest in general places a premium on locally sourced or organic products, and many restaurants include them into their menus. Whether you're looking for great food, world-class museums, stunning scenery, or simply want to relax in one of the many coffee shops and parks, Seattle has something for everyone. The best time to visit depends on what you want to do. Just don't forget to put Seattle on your list of destinations.